Namaste. Hello and welcome to the Transformative Yoga Wheel class. In this short class, I want to introduce you to the transformative yoga method when we focus around one specific group of asanas and we choose a peak pose and we create the whole practice around it. So this class will be dedicated to back bends, to standing back bends, and our peak pose will be a dancer pose using the wheel. And so with this class, I want to also show you how can you be creative with the yoga wheel how the yoga wheel can on one hand help you a lot to go deeper into your practice and on the other hand challenge you to try new things and to push yourself a little bit out of your comfort zone so let's get started find a comfortable seated position and before we start at one point we would need a wall well i hope you've got a wall or maybe a tree to lean on uh, more so by the end of the short class let's get started find a comfortable seated position and for a moment close your eyes let's take a moment to bring our awareness inwards so take a deep inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Relax your shoulders, relax your face, your eyes, your lips. Bring your attention to the position of your sit bones in the, on the ground. Observe the sensations in your ankles and your knees, in your hips. Visualize your spine elongated from the base all the way up to the top of your head. Bring the chin very gently to the chest so you can elongate the back of your neck. Relax your shoulders, your arms, your wrists and elbows. Inhale through the nose. One, two, three. Exhale. Three, two, one. Inhale. Belly ribcage chest exhale chest ribcage belly inhale belly ribcage chest exhale chest ribcage belly bring the palms together to your heart center gently bow your head to your heart set an intention for today's practice to open up to creative possibilities in you Allow yourself to enjoy this practice. Whenever you're ready, slowly open up your eyes, place the wheel to the left side from you, place your left hand on top of the wheel, inhale, reach your right arm up, pushing the wheel to the left, and exhale, lean to the side, opening through the side of your body. We start with dynamic movement, so inhale, go back up, and exhale, lean to the left inhale up exhale lean to the left last one inhale up exhale lean to the left you might stay here or without helping with your hands release the left leg bring the right foot a bit closer to you and lean a bit deeper step one you stay here step two if you want to go deeper grab the inner rail of the wheel bring the elbow in maybe inside of your knee and slowly try to grab the top of the wheel with your right hand now we're just warming up so you don't have to go that deep absolutely not you can totally just stay here or in a previous pose inhale slowly come up and switch sides make sure that your left foot is in your right foot is out and we switch sides right hand on the wheel inhale reach the left arm up and exhale lean to the right inhale up exhale lean deeper and last one inhale up exhale lean deeper step one stay here step two release the right leg to the side step three move the wheel a little bit closer grab the inner rail and the outer rail with the top hand stay in here for three rolling the chest open two 
and one inhale slowly come up very good place the wheel right in front of you bring the knees back find your child's pose with the hands on the wheel inhale lengthen and as you exhale slowly drop the chest towards your knees relax the head down and take few deep breaths in here say yes and no with your head releasing any effort of your neck maybe do just like a eight like like a wave like movement with your neck very good now from here open the knees to the sides feet still together and allow the chest to sink deeper yeah so when we remove the legs from under the chest you suddenly have a little bit more space to deep to dive deeper in with your chest and you may stay here or if you feel already ready for that let knees hip width apart and find your puppy pose so the hips are in line with the knees and lower the chest down relaxing head and neck so you see the wheel is quite high yeah from there your hands are quite high on the wheel so probably you're not reaching with the chest to the floor and that's completely flat, fine if you are that's amazing if not that's also super good Maybe the head can reach to the floor, but if you reach with the head to the floor, you may feel that now you are actually removing some effort of your chest. So I prefer actually not to touch with the head to the floor and trying to bring the chest in. And here we're taking advantage to open up the shoulders. We really will need a lot of shoulder opening today for our practice. Inhale, slowly come up release and move the wheel back behind you so straight away we are getting into the shoulder opening and we start with the passive one the passive stretch is one of my favorite actually with the wheel bring your t-spine so your upper spine on the wheel interlace the fingers behind your head and help your head to lower down now here it's very important it's like a small wiggling movement that i'm making sure that my neck is completely free and relaxed and you see that my wheel is all the way up on my t-spine it doesn't touch the middle back nor the lumbar spine now from here simply relax the arms to the sides and close your eyes with your legs you can do whatever feels good maybe extending the leg maybe bringing the soles of your feet together so we're just preparing the body to open up so close your eyes and imagine that as you inhale your chest expands and as you exhale you release it back to center inhale expand exhale release back to center inhale expand exhale release back to center last one inhale expand exhale release back to center very good do not lift your head off the wheel bring the soles of your feet back on the floor interlace your fingers over your head in a kali mudra so like a pistol and stretch the arms up stay here for a few breaths opening through the chest for three now we're getting to more active poses here too. One, now reach your hips off the ground, heels closer to you, sink the hips deeper down and maybe make the small movement so you're really uh, targeting to open up the chest here, yeah? So stay in here for three. Maybe for some of you this is already quite deep so you can open up the hands. You don't have to interlace, but if you do, it will help you to get deeper into our peak pose. Two. One, very good. Now bring the hands where your ears are and grab with the four fingers the rails of, of the wheel from the inside from the outside, no, from the inside, sorry, and the thumbs on the outside. Try to maintain the elbows very close to you. Inhale, and as you exhale, slowly push the hips back, trying to bring your elbows down to the ground and then stretch your legs up. If this is too deep, just stay whatever feels comfortable for you. We're gonna stay for five breaths here for the five. Deep breath, four and three and two and one slowly feet back to the floor 
lower the hips back and one more time interlace the fingers reach the arms over your head stay in here for three deep breath two and one now slowly don't lift your head off first hips on the floor then help with your hands to push your head back up and then release very good so we dove we we just dived directly into the back bending if you feel like you needed a little bit more um, activation before we do that for sure in your practice you can do that this is more just like a, a, to give you some idea how you can practice right. position into standard downward dog gaze between your feet and do any movement that you feel like doing so bending one knee at a time walking your dog and when you do the classes with the yoga wheel and where you guide once it's totally fine to for a moment remove the wheel so you can find just a very well known asanas on the floor all right walk your feet back behind your wrists place the wheel right in front of you and we continue with the cat cows using the wheel so legs are extended if possible if not feel free to micro bend the knees inhale open up your chest look forward exhale push the wheel away and round your spine gaze down inhale open exhale round inhale open exhale round and last one inhale open exhale round very good inhale go back to center a little bit leg activation exercise move the wheel grab the rails bend the knees like in a chair pose but with your feet hip widths apart extend the wheel forward engage your quads and stay here for three pull the belly in two one now lift your heels off the ground staying with me three two one and now slowly rise all the way up lifting the wheel higher three lift it higher two and one real okay step your right foot to the back of to the front at the left foot back and we come to the triangle pose from where we already start preparing for our pick pose now extend the arms the wheel is right outside of your right foot lean forwards and then place your right hand on the wheel Reach the left arm up, gaze up, stay here with me for three, for two, rolling the chest open and one. Gaze down, bend your right knee, push the wheel further forward and slowly extend the left leg. Stay in here for three, for two, for one. Make sure that your left leg is super strong and engaged. Let's try your balance here. Place the left hand towards the center of your heart and right hand whoop, to the center of your heart as well. And try to hold here. Three. Hold with me. Two. And one. Slowly go back to the center. That balance really triggered your leg activation. Now bend your left knee, bring the heel right into the glute and do not open the knee up. Grab the top of the foot and first push your hip forward and the heel back. Open up through the chest, stay in here for three. Deep breath, two one now slowly gaze down to the floor square your hips with the ground and grab the foot with the thumb on the inside and four fingers on the outside and inhale reach your left leg up reaching the heel up into your dancer with the wheel for three for two and one slowly release take your time to go back into half moon then bend the right knee and help yourself to go back and we switch sides very good this is not the beginner's class if you straight away think okay that is a little bit too much i forgot to tell you it's not the beginner's class it's the class for those who've already tried the yoga wheel before or for those who feel a little bit more comfortable with the wheel but anyways, wherever you're at, let's just keep going and see where we get. So place the wheel outside of your left foot. Inhale, extend the arms to the sides and exhale, lean forward. Place the left hand on the wheel and reach your right arm up. 
Make sure that your legs are engaged and that you're not dumping into the left shoulder. You're very active in your torso for three and your legs, of course, too. One, bend the left knee, project the wheel forward and elevate the right leg, making sure that you're actively engaging the right glute and the leg. You're lifting yourself up for three. For two, choose one spot in front of you. One, to try to bring the right hand and then slowly, you can try just with the one fingertip on the wheel and then both hands at the chest and hold that back leg. Three, hold with me two. And one, slowly release, left hand back on the wheel, right arm up. Now bend the right knee first, the knee is like parallel to the floor, and you push the hip forward, creating this nice arch in your T-spine, stretching the hip flexors for three. Yes, two. One, now square your hips down to the floor, grab the foot, uh, thumb on the inside, four fingers on the outside, and reach the heel up. I'm actively lifting my leg, so even if I remove my hand, my leg is still active. It's not that I'm only pulling with my hand. For two, and one, take your time to go back with control to the half moon, and then slowly lower the leg, and come back. All right, we do just one more leg activation pose. You're gonna place the wheel to the right side of your mat, slightly to the right, feet together, and the wheel is like right behind your right heel. You place the top of the foot on the wheel, place the hands at your heart center, inhale, pull the belly in Udiyana Bandha, and as you exhale, slowly lower down, 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 making sure that you're not putting too much weight on that back leg. And then from here, extend the arms. And stay in here for three. Strong legs, two. And one, hands at the heart center, and then slowly with control, whoop, come up. Very good. You can also do it dynamically, but now we'll do just one more on the other side. All right. Feet together, the wheel is right behind your left heel. Make sure that it's located right straight forward so it's not on any angle. Put the left foot on the top of the wheel, inhale. And as you exhale, slowly lower down, down, down. Extend the arms optionally up. Engage your legs, stay in here for three, for two. And one, inhale, slowly come up with control and release. All right, before we get into our peak pose, let's just go through the puppy pose one more time and then some shoulder rotation because we really need those to get deeper uh, and then we're ready for our dancer pose. So go back on your mat, move your knees in line with your hips, Hands on the wheel, inhale, and as you exhale, really stretch the shoulders by pulling your chest down. Try not to move your forehead to the floor, but rather the chest to the floor. And you can do some small bounces here, really opening through the chest, making sure that your neck is relaxed. And stay here for three. Deep breath, two. Deep breath, one, inhale, come up, release, place the heels on the wheel right in front of you, interlace the fingers back behind you, squeeze the fists together, point your toes, and really open up your chest here, stay in for three, for two, and one, move the wheel further away, move the hips further away, so it will give you even more effort for your shoulders, and continue squeezing the shoulder blades, three, two, one, last one, wheel even further away, hips even further away, stay in here, three, and two, and one, very good, release, all right, so, 
I will show you how we proceed to our pick pose. For those of you who feel that you're very tight in your shoulders, it will be a good idea to grab the belt and do several rolls with the belt or with the stick in here. I'm not going to show it now because I just wanted to explain to you how you proceed with this pose, but for sure in your own practice, please add a little bit more shoulder rolls before you get into the full um, wheel that we're going to do right now, full dancer pose. Okay, so let's do it. Grab your wheel and first we're going to find the wall. And what you want to do is to do the full dancer pose, but using the wheel. So you're going to face with your hips to the wall, you place your left hand on the wall and you grab the wheel like this with the four fingers on the inside and the thumb on the outside. And it's important that when you grab the foot, out and you start from here with your elbow looking out yeah all right now from here bend the right knee and bring the top of the foot to the wheel now from here you're gonna lift up and here is the funny mo moment yeah when you want to bring the elbow all the way up and then lift the leg up optionally stay here or if you're ready for it grab the wheel with both hands and reach the leg up, pointing your toe. And slowly release and release. So th there is this kind of movement, yeah? When you need to grab and then pull the elbow out. Yeah, for that, a lot of shoulder mobility is required, yeah? So you grab and then you pull. If that was not really available for you, you can try from this position first, from the, just an easy pigeon pose. You grab your foot, the same position, elbow looking out, thumb in, inside, four fingers on the outside, and then you roll it out. Yeah, this is the movement. And then we repeat the same with the wheel. All right, let's do the same on the other side. Right hand on the wheel. Grab the left foot, making sure that the elbow, the eye of the elbow is looking out. And then you reach the leg up and you roll the elbow up. Step one, stay here. Step two, grab the foot with both hands and reach a little bit higher, pointing up your toes, opening through the chest for three, for two, and one, slowly release and let go all right so that was the peak pose of our class in transformative yoga school we always say that it's okay that you're not able to do the full peak pose that's why they are there in order to challenge us as well this class was just a demonstration so we didn't really get so deep into opening the shoulders and usually in our long one hour classes of course we get a little bit deeper in all the details of that so then you can uh, find yourself much more comfortable in this pose but anyways now you have some ideas how you can use the wheel by being creative and challenging you to go deeper into the full natarajasana all right let's stretch out a little bit restore the balance so bring the feet on the floor move the sit bones back place the hands on the wheel flex your feet or point the toes inhale and as you exhale, walk the hands forward and relax the head down. Release any effort of your shoulders, of your lumbar spine, of your neck. Deep breath here for three. Lowering down with each exhale, two. And one, very good, inhale, slowly come up, bring the wheel back behind you into a boat pose, place the wheel right against your T-spine, so the very middle of your back. And here you're not supposed to lean on the wheel, so it's not supposed to help you, it's supposed to challenge you, right? So you grab the wheel with both thumbs, extend the legs, and you really feel that the wheel is puffing your chest up, engaging your core to remove a little bit of the effort of the lumbar spine. Step one, you stay here. Step two, extend the legs. Step three, hands forward. Step four, 
Hands up. Any step that you like, let's stay there for five solid breaths. Five. Strong core. Four. If you're shaking, that's great. I'm also shaking with you. Three. Stay with me. Two. And one. Release. Very well done. All right. We finish up with Halasana. Inverted pose. Place the wheel back behind you. Lay down on the floor. Remove the hair bun if it's on your way. And then from here, you're going to squeeze the shoulder blades together and place the legs. Now the wheel is running away from me. That also happens. <laughs> All right. So you're going to lay down and place the feet on the wheel, making sure it's still there, that it's not running away from you. All right. Place the feet on the wheel back behind you. Move the wheel back. And now you find this alignment of your hips with your chest in one line there should be no effort on your neck really squeeze the shoulder blades together this also is a good stretch for you and close your eyes take a moment to relax into the pose take a moment to remove any effort of your breath just stay here for a few more breaths Bringing balance into your body and your mind in this inverted pose. Optionally, if you feel like doing it, you can place your hands on your back and come into your full Sarvangasana, the shoulder stand. And then whenever you're ready, slowly either bring the feet first to the wheel or maybe to the floor. Place the hands on the floor, bend your knees into your ears and roll back down very slowly, one vertebra at a time. Slowly, slowly, slowly on the floor and find any comfortable position for you to rest. Close your eyes, extend the arms and the legs to the sides, inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. And give yourself a moment to rest and completely relax. Very good, very slowly without opening your eyes. Start bringing your awareness back to your body and do any small movements that you feel like doing. Then bring your knees to the chest, maybe roll from side to side. Roll over to one side. And pushing with one hand against the floor, slowly come up into a comfortable seated position. Relax your hands on your thighs, eyes closed, all the attention inwards. Observe the sensations in your body, in your breath after this practice. Whenever you're ready, bring the palms together and thank yourself for this practice from stepping out of your comfort zone for trying something new and unleashing your creativity through the practice with the yoga wheel. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this short demonstration class. Namaste.